Good afternoon, everybody. How are you all? I hope everyone is keeping well this lovely Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, we are in the afternoon. We're past midday now, aren't we? So, so yeah, um, you are very welcome. And thank you so much for joining me here today over in lovely Northern Ireland. Although we don't have sun at the minute, it, at least it's not raining. So um, that's always a bonus over here. So it's always either drizzly rain or as I call it, wet rain. The rain that you don't realize it doesn't look like it's raining, but, um, but you're actually getting drenched. So, so you are all very welcome on here this afternoon. And what I'm actually gonna be sharing with you is how you build your who do you know list and find the right contact method for you. So. So yeah, but what I will actually do first of all is actually, um, I'll just share a wee bit about who I am and how long I've been in the company. So so I was actually, Forever actually found me um, six years ago now. I cannot believe it's been six years. It's crazy, absolutely crazy um, as to how fast time has flown by. It really has. So I was actually introduced to it. Um, it was by a friend of mine who, um, Long story short, should I say, um, I was given a, a C9 as a Christmas present. And I, I know that some people, because whenever I got it, I was kind of like, oh gosh, a little bit cheeky maybe. Um, or, or, but I actually chose to be eternally grateful because for what, what forever has actually given me and what that C9 actually did for me. So basically, it was my friend who was being very clever, actually. Um, she actually gave it to me for a Christmas present because um, back then um, I used to smoke. It was a horrible, horrible habit. And, uh, and I had given up smoking and I'd put, I think, about two stone on. And I was constantly moaning about, you know, wanting to get healthier and wanting to shift a few pounds. So, so she gave me that and, and that was it. And I didn't, I didn't do the same. I didn't do it for months, it kind of just got chucked into the utility room. Um, but literally once I did it, everyone started saying how well I was looking and I didn't know anything about the company at all. I literally was going back to my friend and saying, how is this working? People are asking me, you know, what is it, what is it I'm taking? And, and I had to keep going back and asking questions about the, the product and how much it was and everything else. So then fast forward, um, my friend actually invited me to a uh, one-to-one. So when I say a one-to-one, it was kind of just more like it was on here, it was online. And um, my, it was actually my upline manager then was over in the UK. So, so although I'm over here, that's the beauty about this business that it doesn't matter where you are because if you have technology, if you have a phone, if you have Wi-Fi, you can build the business. So I literally saw the business opportunity and jumped at the chance, absolutely jumped at it. Didn't have the 199 and I literally went and just borrowed the money. That was it. And the next day that was me signed up and it, I just took it from there. So basically um, why I wanted to do it was um, my husband works away. I'm at home with five kids and, and I had just had the baby. Uh, well, I said just had the baby. She was in primary school and I just didn't want to go back to my job. I didn't want to miss out on and all the little things, you know, all the school sports days, all the teacher parent or the parent teacher meetings. And my daughter was very into ballet. She loves her ballet. So I wanted to be there to do the, the swimming lessons and the, the ballet lessons. And, and that's what I wanted. So I wanted my own income, my own financial independence. And that's what it's given me six years later. So six years later, it has been just absolutely fantastic. I've been able to stay at home with my daughter and and her ballet should I say she dances six days a week so it is absolutely constant and if I hadn't been introduced to this opportunity um, I would not be able to stay at home and be there for my daughter to um, to help her with all her lifts so so in order for that to happen what I'm actually going to do is take you through how you build your who do you know list and how you can actually build your business then um, in order to create a lifestyle that is right for you.
So I will just forward on here. Bear with me, by the way, um, I'm not great at technical um, things, so if I mess up a little bit, just forgive me and move on. <laughs> so, so, think about who you know. So this is like the most important thing. I remember whenever I first got started, I was told, right, um, who do you know list, right? Write your who do you know list. And I was like, I don't really know anybody. I, I maybe have about four five friends that I can think of, which is absolutely ridiculous considering I'm one of six children. I have a huge amount of extended family and friends, but yet I was closed minded thinking that I only had about four or five friends. But what I meant, what I was thinking in my head is that, no, they're just my, my friends, you know, um, my close friends. So, so what I would suggest to you is open your mind. I'm going to take you through how you can find more people and how you can actually add them on to your who do you know list. So um, think of your friends. So think of your best friend, um, for instance. So we all have a best friend and maybe we have loads of best friends. So um, literally write their name down and think to yourself, right, well, they also have friends. They have friends that you possibly know, but you're not friends' friends but there's still like a referral from a friend, write their names down. Think about um, recreation. When I say about when I, what I mean by recreation is like, if you have um, children or if you're in sports or whatever it is, what is it that you do for a hobby? You know, what is it with the, the kids? Like with my daughter in particular, it was at the beginning, she was doing swimming lessons, she was doing gymnastics, she was doing ballet, she was doing everything. So it was literally about um, meeting the mums um, meeting the mums at the, the lessons, just chatting to them because we were, let's be honest, we were all bored, stupid, waiting for half an hour or 45 minutes. So we always got chatting. So it was literally just about getting to know them, adding them onto your who do you know list, um, exchanging contact details. But whenever the kids are away, generally speaking, um, you're, you're arranging them for play dates as well. Think about your occupation. So what is your job? Are you in the corporate world? Are you maybe, um, you know, are you replaying this back again um, after your work? Are you in the corporate world? Um, are you a stay-at-home mom? What is your job? Who else do you know that has the same job as you? It doesn't matter what your job is, but just think about other people that are in the same line um, uh, of work as yourself. And geography. Where do you live? Who do you know that lives in other countries? We know that this, this company is in 160 countries around the world. This is a global company. So it doesn't matter about whether it's a five mile radius. It is the entire world that you can actually build a business in. How phenomenal is that? So don't just think where you are now. Think globally of everybody that you know, because it's not just about um, the people that you know, it's also people that they know. And social. So if you think about um, what do you do um, socially, you know, do you, well, I was going to say, thing, things have changed slightly um, in the last couple of years, but um, socially, I know that uh, we were going on to Zoom. Zoom was just our best friend for the last year and a half, hasn't it been? And I know that there's been lots of birthday parties on Zoom. So who else was on those Zoom calls? You know, that's somebody else to add to the list because it's a friend of a friend. So think about all those things as well. Think about, you know, do you go out? Um, do you, do you, I don't know, coffee shops? Um, that would be my big thing. I would sit at coffee shops. Absolutely love that and make that my office. So, so think just, just think about who you know, because I know I, simply because I was exactly the same that I thought to myself, no, I don't really know anyone. So, so you definitely, definitely know more people. So again, um, think about the people who you want um, either in your team or trying your products. Think about those people to begin with. Um, so who do you know that's in sales? Who do you know that um, 
it's their livelihood actually to talk about um, products and selling products or whatever product it may be. So think about that for a minute. Do you know one person that's even in retail? Do you know one person that um, I'm sure you've got a favorite shop, whatever shop you go into, um, I'm sure that you will know you will have got speaking to that person because you're in there all the time. So think about that person. So put them down on your list as well, because you just don't know. Teachers, we all know teachers. We were either taught by teachers or our kids are taught by teachers. There's teacher, teachers are absolutely, I, I personally, teachers are just amazing because they're so unlike me, or I'm so unlike them. They are so organized. I would absolutely love teachers of my team. So teachers are just fantastic. So everybody knows teachers. So write them down on the list. And again, like I say, it's not about um, who you know, it's also who they know. Who's enthusiastic? Who would you love to have in your team? Who would you love to have using your products and, and then literally saying to everybody else, oh my gosh, these products are just unbelievable. You have to try them. And they talk to everyone about them. The same goes for the business. Who's enthusiastic? Who would lift, who would just lift the whole team spirit in your team? Who would just lift that vibe? An attitude. Who would you like in your team that has a really good attitude? We all want, we all want to have good attitudes. We all, um, we all look for people with good attitudes. And then money, who do you know actually um, that needs money coming up to Christmas? There's always somebody and it doesn't matter. Everybody joins this business for whatever reason and no reasons are no two reasons are the same you know somebody somebody may just want an extra 50 pounds that's it fantastic you can help them with that somebody may want 200 pounds amazing you know you can help them with that somebody wants a thousand pounds sure isn't that absolutely fantastic there is so much that we can actually do to help people and the start of it is literally by getting names on your who do you know list because your who do you know list is your database. Every single company, every single workforce, every single thing will have a database. And you'll know that whenever you're getting emails, you're going to be constantly getting emails from different companies trying to promote something or sell something. Um, ours is no different. You have to have a database to start. So if you're anything like me, I'm a very visual person. So I love to have pictures. Um, so I actually you have to excuse me. I think um, the pollen is getting to me or something. My nose is running, so excuse me. But yeah, visual, the visual aspect. Now here, I have mine here. Um, but as you can see on the screen there, the memory jogger. So this, this is just the best, the absolute best thing that you can actually have. And this comes in your starter pack as well. So if you think um, like anything about the business, every single thing in this booklet, in this booklet, you can, you can have a business, you can, you can build your business. You don't even need anybody to help you. Everything is in here for you. But if you look at that, you can see um, it's literally just a mem memory jogger for if you're more visual. So if you look at your past, so think about, you know, who you went to nursery school with, who, how many houses have you lived in? You know, um, oh my gosh, who were your neighbours 20 years ago? Have you moved since then? Who did you meet on a holiday um, as a child? You know, who, who did you hang about with in your teenage years? What youth club did you go to? Do you ever bump into anyone um, that you used to hang about with uh, as teenagers? Um, and what primary school did you go to? You know, think about all these things. So you've got your primary school, you've got your, um, your high school, your tech, your university, your college. You know, it's all these things. Perhaps you took a year out, perhaps you went traveling. Um, perhaps you were like me, I had my children early, I had early, I had mine um, young and I was a stay at home mum to begin with. So I had loads, loads of people that I knew back then 
um, there was some mums and tots groups and things. Um, so they're, they're the people to think about from there. I mean, you could literally fill pages with that, absolutely pages. Then you just think, as I said there, places you've lived, the, I think the average, the average people would move in three times, three, four times in their life. So you're going to know, you're going to know people and um, old neighbours and things as well. So again, friends, um, this is now. So who do you know now? So do you have kids at school? Do you have, um, if you have kids at school, what about the school gates, the mums and that at the school gates? So who do you meet on a daily basis? These are all people to add on to your who do you know list. And then again, it's as it says there, your pastimes, what are your hobbies? Um, what, what clubs do you do you go to? If you don't have any, what about your kids? Like I said, with my daughter, it's ballet. And I've got a whole, my, my daughter has just joined another ballet school. So it's two separate ballet schools. So I now have another full um, lot of people to add on to my who do you know list from that. So there's so, so many opportunities. And if you haven't, this is, as I say, in your first steps to manage your booklet. So it's on page 22 and 23. So if you look again on page 23, it also gives you the memory jogger of people who are actually, what their jobs are. And well, there we go. I've just looked at one, a driving instructor. So I know now I have someone in my head that I'm going to pop down on my who do you know list. And not only am I popping him down, I'm also popping down his wife because I know his wife works in sales. There you go. That's a new one for me. So, so that again, it's perfect. So it, if you just go through this and write your pe write people's names down and then get in touch with your upline, your sponsor, your upline manager, and they will then talk you through how to go through that as well. So as I said, this now is in page 25. You write all your names down there. Write down their either their telephone number or whether it's Facebook Messenger, whatever it is that you have their contact details, and write a wee comment about them. So whether it is, oh, it's um, Sheila. She has two kids, goes to school with Lily, or something, or it was the wee one's birthday, or something. So it's just something that you can actually um, remind yourself about who they actually are. So Facebook. Now, um, when I joined this business, I wasn't on Facebook. I was not social media savvy, and I am not still. Um, but I've learned so much. So. Um, this, this is a really good one. So download your friends list. I mean, now I know generally the majority of people are on Facebook and literally you could have thousands of people. You could have 200 people. You know, when I started, I think I had four people and that was simply because my son had moved to Sweden and I wanted to keep in touch with him. And I was a very private person. I did not want um, anybody knowing my business. I literally had the kids on Facebook and and that was it. So um, now I have more because I've learned so much more and literally download your friends list. All you need to do is Google, just Google, how do you download your friends list? And that is also on your database or that's your database. So again, it says look for old school and work friends on Facebook. You will be so surprised at how many come up there. And a lot of people actually still go under their maiden names or they put their maiden names in there. So it's easy to find. And once you have found one, um, on Facebook, then there will be so many more mutual friends that you can then add on as well and reconnect with. And that's what it's about. So it's about developing um, relationships like from the past. Um, so back from school days, back from whatever it was, it's about rekindling those, um, those friendships again. So when you're on Facebook as well, um, go into groups, find groups that you have an interest in. Um, I always personally find it better to have um, to join groups that you do have an actual interest in. Um, so for me, it would be, excuse me, it would be about ballet for my daughter, um, but also dogs. I have a big German Shepherd Rottweiler and I just love her. She is the baby of the family. And she, I, I would join groups about dogs 
because we all know um, our products are great for animals as well. So, so you just literally you're you're developing um, relationships with people in those groups. So then you can take them out of the groups. You're adding them onto your Facebook, and then you are literally um, taking them through the cycle. So again, never prejudge anyone i can't stress that enough so we've all done it we've all been there we thought oh no that, that person wouldn't need the money that's no no they wouldn't be interested in that now i will give you a prime example i was talking to a girl um in not in my team but crossline and she's already on a six-figure um income but she does this business her she does this business because she's working 60 70 hours a week already and and she wants to cut down her hours so she wants this business and she and this business will overtake her um her current salary she is determined and and it was just fortunate that her sponsor didn't prejudge her because she literally was like, this opportunity is absolutely fantastic. So never prejudge anyone, never prejudge anyone because they may live in a nice big house that they don't want. Um, they don't want any extra money. They do. You just don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Always include your scary list and and learn to expand your list every day. So this is something that I've been taught. Um, like I said, at the very beginning, I was always really nervous um, about Facebook. I was a very private person, uh, but what I was taught is that if you're, even if you're just adding two people on to your your Facebook per day, at the end of the year, you've you've almost got seven hundred new people, and that's only by adding two people. So you're showing up to your business every single day. You're building a relationship. You've got them on your database. You're going to let people know what it is you're doing. They're going to be they're going to know what you're doing, which is going to make your life so much easier. <laughs> So, and also impressions really do count. So if you think about, um, you know, if you're turning up for business every day, just, just think about your, your job description as such. So think about what way um, uh, you will come across to somebody, you know, make sure you're, you're always representing um, your business you're representing yourself, you're representing your business, and you want people to um, respect you and have belief in you. So dress and speak accordingly. Um, you know, it's, it's just, it, that, that's just something, um, that's just a definite one for me, I'm afraid. It, it is literally just about um, just making sure that you are, you're well turned out. Take a good look at your social media. Um, so ensure it represents you. Again, I'm going to be completely honest. I didn't have a clue about Facebook whatsoever. And when I look back in memories now, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> It was so bad because I didn't have a clue. I had teenage kids and I kind of copied them, which really, hmm, it's not very good because they use these phrases and I, yeah, it, it wasn't good. So uh, my advice is go through, go onto your Facebook and scroll your actual page and say, do you know what, is that inviting? If someone's gonna look me up, what is it gonna say about me? You know, um, keep keep all like political views and things like that um to to yourself or whatever you know you're you're representing um you want people to join you to join this is a people business so you're wanting them to join you and you don't want anything to negatively impact your business so so just be aware just have a look through and see what your facebook says about you and smile oh my gosh my goodness, a smile does so much for everyone. It can make people feel so relaxed. It can make you um, so, I mean, people just want to talk to you if you're smiling. If you're, if you're a smiley person in general, you know, people talk to you, people open up to you, you know. So if, you, if you're not used to doing that, just get into the habit of, you know, just smiling and talking to the person next to you when you're standing waiting for your coffee get into a conversation with them, you know? So, but like I say, just smile and ask yourself, would you join you 
if the two was on the other foot and somebody else was wanting you um, to join their business, would you join you? And that's, that's really important. So what is it you want to achieve? So once you've got the names all on your all on your database, all on your who do you know list, what is it you want to achieve? So do you want to promote the products? Is that all you want to do for now? That's absolutely fine. Um, or do you want a potential team member? So you need to think about what it is that you're wanting to do. So um, for, for me, what I would always say, if it's because it's for the business, I would go for the business. I would always, always offer the business first, because if they say no to the business, then um, you can always go in with the products. Because at the end of the day, we all know everyone washes their hair, brushes their teeth, uses deodorant, hopefully. Um, so we can always go in with that there and say, well, listen, we have fantastic products. You know, if the business isn't for you, um, why not try the products and trial them for 30 days, trial them for 60 days. There is a 60 day money back guarantee. Again, present our products or the business opportunity, what I've just said, and build relationships with people. So that's what it's about. It's a people business, you know, um, and always ask for referrals always ask for referrals. I literally had a girl join my team this month and that was through a referral. So she literally had been buying the clean nine off me, I think for the last year and a half. And she literally just joined them because, um, or as I say, she was a referral, but it was because I constantly kept in touch and, um, and followed up. So there's so many different different methods of contact. I'm just looking at this picture. May I was a lot slimmer then. Um, what is it they say? The the whole the whole um, lockdown stone and a half, two stone, whatever it is, has has uh, creaked on. But sure, that's my lovely daughter there with me. And this was the thing that we did. So so we would go around um, the area that I live. I would bring my daughter. Get get your your kids involved you know this is the thing get it's a family affair and when you explain to them why you're doing it and the little goals the little tiny goals that you're you're actually wanting so i think for that instant i had said to her right well she will do this and then we can get a, a pizza takeaway or a takeaway of your choice whatever it was that was her payment for coming out with me um but what i have found is um sundays are really good to go and put um car through the door. So whether whether you're putting cards or whether you're putting a dear neighbour letter through the door, whether it, it's just something, it doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to be out a lot of money. It is literally just something um, to let people know what you're doing and how to get in touch with you. But Sunday is good simply because there's no other post coming through um, the door. So if you're literally popping it through, that's a great day to do it because people will look at it. Um, I do I do think it's good to have pictures of some sort. It's a visual. Again, I'm a visual person. So um, when people are actually looking, um, they, they tend to read more as well. But the one thing I will say, if you cast your mind back to the, the posts that you get in the house, so you'll maybe get like um, pizza deliveries or whatever, you know, all these flyers that come through, anything like me, they're straight in the bin. That's it. They just go. So you have to continually do that. So I would do it over and over and over again. And it just takes that that person to see the, the flyers or the cards or whatever it is you're putting through. It may take about three, four, five, six, seven, eight times for them to actually pick it up and read it and see what it is. So because it'll be like, oh, here's this again. Oh, here's this again. Oh, here's this. Oh, what is this? And that's the way it works. So, um, so Sunday is best for that. Um, but for me, I, I'm okay. I, if you pluck up the courage and rap on the door and actually just say, hi, um, my name is Lisa Burton. I just wanted to make you aware. This is what I'm doing. I live in the area and I'm not sure if any of this would be for you or not, but I just thought I would share the opportunity and the products with you. If you would like any more information, my number is on the card there and it gets you in the conversation then as well. And that's it really. So events and um, product launch, 
Um, so events, my absolute favourite thing to do. As you can see another picture there. Again, I brought my daughter. I don't know that she would do it so much now. She's now uh, 14, going on 15, going on 25. So yeah, <laughs> but I would bring her along to my um, my events as well. So what the thing about the events, which I absolutely love, is it's not about what you sell. Um, you know, if you sell a lip balm, that's an absolute bonus. The whole point about these is actually filling up your database. It's filling up your um, your pipeline, filling up your who do you know list. So you're literally doing like um, free prize draw forms. And and the, the beauty about it is everybody wins um, because everybody wins. Your 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 prize could be a pamper party in the house for three people, and that way you're actually filling more. You're actually filling up your um, your who do you know list more with more people. So the more events you do, the the more you're going to fill up your who do you know list. And in my case, the more events I do, the more people people I bring on to the team. So it just depends on what it is you want. So whether you want um, for product sales or whether you want to build a team, it is all there for you. And again, same with the product launches. It's literally um, if one part, if you go to somebody's house, and which we are allowed to do now, thankfully. Um, I I don't think. Uh, yes, it's great. Don't get me wrong. It's fantastic having Zoom and WhatsApp sales and all that. There, we've been so privileged and so lucky that we've been able to do that and continue on with our business. But do you know what? Nothing beats face to face. It really doesn't. So it's about the excitement, and it's about you know them being able to taste the product, being able to um, feel the product on their skin. But it's also to get the energy and it's also to get any questions answered if they're interested in the business and like I say it's a people business so they'll see whether you they like you or not <laughs> sounds harsh but it's true and, and whether they would actually want to be in your business so um so yeah so that's also great as well but what you can do from launches is from a launch you then get a referral for another launch Again, there's more people added onto your who do you know list, and it's just a knock on effect. It's constant, constant. So there you've got your flyers and your carding, um, you've got your events and product launches, then your experience packs, is, uh, experience packs, sorry, put my teeth back into my mouth. Um, so aim to get two experience packs out a week. And um, we obviously had to stop these uh, for, um, over the last year and a half, but now we're, we're starting to be able to get them back out again. These again are fantastic um, for referrals. I would always get referrals, always um, for experience packs. And the good thing is as well, um, I would always give a wee tip uh, to my team, have a wee book, have a booklet inside um, your experience pack. And, and, and listen, let's be honest, an experience pack could be two products. It doesn't have to be a whole array of things. It literally can just be whatever the the person, what, whatever they want to try, you can actually just tailor something for them. So it can be one, two, three products. It doesn't have to be loads because they, they'll not get through it. They'll get too overwhelmed with it, but just means you can keep coming back to them with other ones. But I would always say, put the wee booklet in, ask them to write down, um, you know, what they've thought about the products, what they loved about it as well. And, uh, and also to give you a wee referral as well. And generally speaking, I would say, give a referral. Um, if you give me two, two referrals, then I'll give you a wee um, free gift. Free gift can be a lip balm, you know. Um, yeah, so that's that one. Contact marketing now, I have to say, is my absolute favorite simply because I'm not taking away any time um, away from my 24 hours that I have in a day, like we all do. It is literally talking to people. It is literally being out um, at the coffee shop, just generally chatting. Um, it's at the supermarket. It's at the lady at the till. You know, you'd say, my gosh, you're, you're, 
your customer service skills are excellent. I'm sure your supervisor or your manager gives you praise all the time. You know, I could really do with somebody like you in my company. I would love to have somebody like you on board because you're just the, the essence of um, what good customer service is. And, and then that's obviously that's giving them a compliment. Um, you then just get into a normal, normal conversation as you do. And then generally it's like, you know, you, you just say to them, you know, are you on Facebook or do you have a number? You exchange numbers, you get them onto Facebook. Take a wee screenshot if it's on Facebook because you will forget. Um, who you've been speaking to, you'll forget their names. Take a screenshot without them saying, obviously, and then you can go and message them later on once you're home and just say it was great, great to meet you and build up a relationship then. So absolutely great. That's my favourite, my absolute favourite. And then, as I say, you pop them into your Who Do You Know list and it starts there. Social media, like I said on the, the other slide there, add to daily. So um, that's that's the thing um, I would always say. So even if even if it's just um, one one message or sorry, one person that you're adding or two people, as long as you're doing something, you're constantly going to be adding. So but if you're doing one, why not do two? If you're doing two, why not do five? If you're doing five, why not do ten? But just be consistent with it. So if you know that you're you are only going to do two, um just do two. Don't do any more. And like I say, referrals, referrals are just fantastic. So like I say, I got a team member there from a referral and, and yeah, team members are just our team member referrals. You get referrals for customers and nine times out of 10, your customers then do become your team. So practice builds confidence. I can tell you that 100%. And my uh, upline manager, um, who is Natalie Healy, will also say the same because I would never have spoken um, on this for sure. Um, oh, even thinking back, it's, yeah, not even thinking back, it's literally only in lockdown that it has built my confidence speaking on, on webinars. So, because we've had to do it. So definitely pushing yourself out of your comfort zone is really gonna work. It's really gonna help you. Um, don't limit yourself to one of those methods. Um, I would say literally about two or three, um, you know, try them all, try, try them all, which, whichever, whichever you feel comfortable with, obviously do, but do try the ones that you don't feel that comfortable with as well, because whenever you do more um, and you do more of it, uh, you will become more confident and, um, and, and it'll just be a breeze. It'll just come second nature. Buddy up with a team member if you're doing um, cards, if you're doing flyers, it's always good to buddy up or get like I did with my daughter, a family member, friend, cross line, whoever it is, just buddy up with someone because it's just more, it, it, you know, it, it just gets the energy going for you as well. So the more confident that you become, the more excitement builds. And um, trust me, excitement breeds excitement and people want to be part of that. People want the excitement. So they want to be part of what it is um, that you have got. So it is fantastic. So keeping track of everyone that you've actually um, put onto your Who Do You Know list, um, keep notes. So keep notes uh, on the ones that you have contacted. So get yourself a diary. Um, everyone has their own way of doing it. Some people might want um, you know, a diary or a one to 31 or whatever it is. Speak to your upline and find out what works best for you. Um, but a diary, uh, you know, it, it, it's up to you what way um, you find um, for keeping in touch with people. But as you can see here, it's all colour coded um, as to what they have actually done. This is all um, in your first steps to manage your booklet anyway. Get yourself a no for now book because I will tell you something, the majority of people will all say no. No, 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 not for me, not for me, no, no, not for me, oh, not at all, not for me. Put them in because people say no for a long time and then say yes. So that's why I would say no for now. It's not a no for definite, it's a no for now. 
and start to identify which contact method, which, which method works best for you. So you're always going to have ones that um, that you're most comfortable with, as I said, um, but just find you, you will be able to see as you're writing them down where you're getting most of your um, most of your names, most of your database um, from. So keep it, keep a note um, and identify that. And remember, do you know what? You do know more people than you think. Like me, I thought I knew five people. I mean, how ridiculous. <laughs> and any form of contact, um, there's always a six to eight week lead up time, always. So um, don't be discouraged if you don't hear anything back. Um, don't be discouraged if you're sent messages to people and they ghost you. That's part and parcel of it. It's absolutely fine. Um, just always give it six to eight weeks, uh, because what you'll find is you're you're doing all this groundwork, and and then all of a sudden it just explodes. You're like, oh my gosh, this is just crazy. It's amazing. Always ask for referrals. Always, always, always. That's the one thing um, that's, that, that will keep your business going as well. And that will keep um, your, as I say, your database um, flowing because you're finding people who you don't know. So it's always somebody else. So that way you will never, ever stop adding to your you know, list when you're out in the coffee shop. As I say, if you're out with the kids, you know, whatever, always be prepared always be prepared have your phone out make sure your phone is charged you know your phone is the your phone's your your work basically um and always ask for help from your team you know if you need it because in this business let me tell you you are never on your own there is always somebody always somebody that will um will help and guide you so it's only a matter of reaching out so and listen like i said before have fun and smile and just don't overthink it. It literally is about having fun and and yeah, just just make friends. That's what you're doing. You're making friends, whether it's online or whether it's in person. You're literally making friends and you're adding them onto your who do you know list. And, and that I think is it. That is that is the lot. I'm afraid that I can give you this e or this afternoon. Um, so I am so um, I, I can answer any questions that you may have. Let me just double check here. I hope that has been of some value to you. Um, all right, let me see. So I have a question here. Should I worry if I am not building my team as fast as some others in my group? Absolutely not. Oh my goodness me. Um, no, I listen, whenever uh, I joined, I, I was very, I was very slow to begin with. And a lot of the other team members, they were all recruiting and I wasn't. And it's a horrible feeling whenever everybody else, you, you feel that they're doing better than you. you. You always feel that, well, you don't always feel, I felt, should I say. Um, the, the main thing to remember is stay in your own lane, never compare yourself to anybody else. And it is literally, um, it's your business. So it will happen when it's supposed to happen. So as long as you're doing the work, as long as you're doing the groundwork, um, it's all going to happen. So um, and let me see what else we have here. Let me see. Lots of thank yous. Um, And how do you ask for a referral from someone that has said no? You literally just say, do you know what? This this business, it may not be for you. Uh, the products may not be for you. But you know what? You might just know somebody um, that could benefit from them. Um, do you know anyone? Um, that's it. You know, so as long as you're not putting any pressure on anyone, you know, you're literally just saying, um, you know, it's either for you or it's not. You know, it's no big deal. You know, so and the thing you also have to remember is that people aren't saying no to you. 
they're saying no to the opportunity or they're saying no to the products because they have their own products that they prefer. That's all that you have to remember. They're not saying no to you. So just don't take it personal. Let me see. Um, so we have here, I am in the market tomorrow. What is the best approach, best products to bring? Um, I'm not sure what kind of market. Um, so basically, as I said, do you know what? I personally think less is more because like I said about a stall, it's more about building up your hoodie and less. So it's more about getting um, the, the contacts because then you can follow up with them and then you can actually uh, find out from them what it is they actually want because the products that you will have on your table, it, they'll you know they they might be able to tell you yes i want something for whatever um or gut health or this that, and the other but if you're able to if there's too many people at the table um you know that are coming over to you if you're lucky enough um you'll not be able to give them your full attention really so it's always about getting the contact so always always um get their details and then you can contact them then later on that day and then there's brand new customers for you um but like i say have a free price draw form, have it all filled in, and, and that person's going to win anyway. So everyone who fills out the form is going to win because they're going to win a pumper party or they're going to win um, something, a lip balm, whatever, whatever it may be. Um, so, yeah, I would always say um, just don't. My favorite thing to do is events. So I would always say never, ever stand behind your stall. Always be at the front and you're actually bringing people to your stall um, with with your smile pretty much and asking if they'd like to be um, added into a free price draw and that way you can start talking to them so i hope that has answered that for you hi ling uh, oh there's more here you see i told you i'm not great with this technical stuff so there's 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 questions in other places so bear with me one second um, if a one to one wants to join, but later, do you still? Okay, so if a one to one wants it, so if you have a one to one with somebody, um, but they want to join later, do you still ask for referrals? Um, no, absolutely, ask for referrals because they they don't want to. Um, yeah, you literally just ask them. Why not? It's not right for them right this moment in time, but maybe they know somebody. So you're asking them, you know, so if they don't want to give the information out, then that's absolutely fine. But yeah, I'd always ask for referrals. Um, but also go in with the products as well, uh, because nine times out of ten, um, all customers become a team as well. Maybe they just need that little little bit extra um, confidence then in the products. Um, how do you invite new people to listen to a one-to-one -one or online business presentation? Absolutely love this one, Karen. Um, so what I would say to my team is, especially whenever they start, I would literally say to them, do you know what to do? Go and ask your friends. Just say, listen, um, I, I've just started this business and I need to learn how to talk about it. I need to learn how I can share the opportunity. Would you please, please help me out? I know this isn't for you. I know this business isn't for you. So don't you worry about it. I literally just need someone to practice on and you're my friend. So would you, would, could you share like 20 minutes? So I would always say that that's a guinea pig. And so they have no pressure on them, but yet the seeds planted. So I hope that answers that one. And how do you answer when people ask how much your pro how much is the product? I just tell them. Um, I generally don't like I, I generally don't like to discount products. Um, if anything else, I would uh, give a free product along with full price if people um, say products are expensive. But you know, um, you get what you pay for in my in my view. Um, do you just store your contacts on paper? Everybody's different. So everyone will have um, their own method. And that's what I'm saying. Find the method that works for you. Um, one one might be, uh, I'm by no means am I any, technically, I'm so technically challenged, I can't tell you. I know people have them all on the computer. Um, mine's in a book. 
I, I'm old school. I just like things written down. So it's on a book and, um, and that's it on paper. But everybody is different. Um, and where are we here? Let me see. How do you recommend people to try on the products? Um, I'm not sure what you mean. Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean, Karen, how they try. Um, you can do, I, I'm not sure what you mean by that, but I'll answer with regards just an experience pack. You could try, um, just say, would they like to try the products for a few days in their own home? And, and then again, there's a 60 day money back guarantee. Simple as that really. So I think, is that everything? Have I answered everybody's questions? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, am I? Don't know what you say, told you. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, I keep moving. Let me see. Sorry. Yeah, I think that's it. That is everything answered. So listen, thank you so much, everyone, um, for taking the time out to listen. And I thoroughly enjoyed myself. And yeah, that's it. So have a great day, an even better um, week ahead, getting more of those who do, you, who do you know lists all gathered up. So get out there and I shall see you later.